children, they say they are a blessing from God. But from their conception to their birth, taking care of them, they cost money, time, and energy. Today, we want to have a rational conversation about having a child, how you should be physically, psychologically, emotionally, and most importantly, financially to have a child. And to have the conversation with me, I have two of my friends in the studio. My name is Noeli Aram Abla Uwesi, and this is Honey I See. So let me come to my guest. I have Catherine. Hello, Catherine. Hello, Noeli. Welcome to the show. Thank you. You look gorgeous, by the way. Mm. And of course, mm -hmm. our friend, Kweku Ajimandria Jr. And so, children, Catherine, you are married with how many kids you have? Two. Two. So, you have a job. You have a business, mm. then you have two kids. How is that going? It's, it's not fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's really, it's not fun. It's, it's not fun? It's hard work. Which part? The juggling all of them together? Juggling all of them all together. Of them together. Um, making sure you give these kids the best, um, taking care of them, mm. nurturing them, providing their basic needs. And then there are extra needs. And the, and the extra needs <laughs> come. come into it. Now, you let's. I, I want you to tell me the the. You said it's not fun, but I will come back to you when we get into the nitty gritties, <laughs> right? Of this. Now, let's look quick. Cool, cool. How many kids do you want? None. I'm not interested. How can you? You're, you're not interested. No, I'm not interested. It's not something I've thought about, and um, it's it's not something I'm. I don't think I would want kids. Why? <laughs> Why? Because, um, I'm not interested, and um, you know, mostly most people are actually moved by the biological edge to procreate. I just think that I, I don't have that edge to just perpetuate my line. I have, I have um, eight siblings. Eh, shouldn't that like, <laughs> wait? No, if you have eight siblings, no, shouldn't that make you? Like no, you know, mostly the argument is that uh -huh. um, you know. Yeah, um, you know, try and keep their family line going. Have Ooh. eight siblings. <laughs> so there are enough there people. Enough, like, there's enough <laughs> there people are enough people to 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 keep their lineage going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, my my father's father had um, was um, sixteen kids. <laughs> like yeah, it's a big. Problem. And then your your father's father had sixteen kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your father had eight kids. Yeah, not nine actually. Nine, nine and nine. you are the firstborn. Yeah, yeah. So you should be doing like four or five. No, no. no according no, to the trajectory. No, 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 no. I have no. And desire. you just want to do no desire whatsoever. Zero. Well, we'll come back. now, Kathy. You said it's hard but i want to start with the nice things because we don't want people watching the show thinking that we are <laughs> trying to advocate for people not to like it so tell me what do you love about being a mother like what do you enjoy about it um i think frankly mm -hmm. the opportunity to do certain things mm -hmm. right okay um looking back at my upbringing mm -hmm. um what my mom did mm -hmm. How best can I do what she did? Okay. How can I um, nurture these kids mm -hmm. in such a way that they wouldn't be um, a society, they wouldn't be societal problems. Mm -hmm. They they would actually um, be a blessing mm -hmm. to the nation, be a blessing to the society, be mm -hmm. a blessing to the family mm -hmm. and everyone they come across. Oh, yeah. And so yes, the the opportunity to do what Better. my parents, parents did. Right. Yeah, I don't think because you see all the answers that you are giving it can convince Kweku or maybe me. Me, I'm like when it comes to the having kids, I'm it's like a beam balance. I'm this, I'm here, yeah. I'm taking yeah. one, then I go I to have zero. Doubts. I have doubts that she can convince me. Sorry? I have doubts that she can convince, convince me. You. Well wait, wait, because I have an interesting question that I would want to ask him, but now what is no fun about being a mother? Tell us. Um shouting, screaming. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> children, children don't listen. They, mm. they, they don't listen. They, they, they end up doing what they want to do. Yeah. Despite, yeah. So that's um, the difficult part about it. Mm -hmm. You are tired. You came back from work tired. Mm -hmm. You just want to lay down and rest. And that is where they think fun starts. Like, mommy is back from work. Mm. We need to spend time with mommy, you know. Yeah. And then mommy, how is work? Dragging your hair, stuff, mm -hmm. wearing your wig, you know. 
And uh, really, you are not in for that, you know. You just want some yeah, peace and quiet. Yeah, you just want to take a hot shower and then just rest. Yes. But you, it's, you owe it to them mm. to give them that audience, yeah. you know. And so those are... Some of the non-fun yeah, non yeah, part. Non -fun now, parts. what did you... What did you wish you knew about being a mother before you became a mother? Like, do you feel like, you know when people think about kids, right? They're thinking cute baby, nice chicks, take pictures with them, especially this new Gen Z Love people. Like 10% of the time. Exactly. <laughs> like, what I want you to tell, like, what did you wish you knew about having a child before you had a child? The sleepless nights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... What you, you see, when Catherine says something, I will, I will explain it to you in Gen Z language. It means that if you like to sleep, you like your beauty rest like me. If you want to have a child, you think about it a bit yes. because sleepless nights, okay. Sleepless nights. What is it like you worry about them? No, okay, right from conception, mm -hmm. there are nights you wouldn't sleep at all. Mm. Um, when you have the babies, they, they don't sleep all throughout the night. Mm. You have to wake up two hours, yeah. two hours to And men them. don't like that. Um, there, there are men who... How, how did your husband handle the sleepless nights? Well, he, he handled it very well. I keep saying this for... He handled it very well. Ah, good right for Right throughout the pregnancy, cool. he handled it How do you feel about well. not sleeping? Well, I'm nocturnal, so it won't be a problem. Yeah. yeah. You see, <laughs> points for having kids. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so it's but then again, I wouldn't want to be constantly looking over my shoulder because. What do you mean by looking over your shoulder? It's not like the child could, is going I to could, attack no, you. I could be somewhere and go like, okay, has my kid eaten? Because we have strays in our house, stray cats. And sometimes I worry, like, ah, has this cat eaten? Oh, no. I have to make provisions, even though the cats are not mine. I have to make provisions so that the cat actually gets out of it. Okay. So, yeah, kids. Um, yeah. So, do you feel that one of the reasons why you don't want to have kids is because you feel they will put a dump on your lifestyle? Not necessarily. I mm. just think that it's going to change my, like, my life completely. Yes. How? It will, it will because um, then it seems to be just you. Mm -hmm. So even in every decision that you have to make, it has to go beyond you. Yeah. And um, once you have kids and you are trying to be a responsible person, you have to even think about life after your death. Yeah. You have to worry, um, how would my kids strive when I'm gone mm -hmm. and all that. So, yeah. You don't want to deal with no. that kind of stress? No. Okay, sleepless mm -hmm. nights. And then what else? Let's talk about in terms of cost. How expensive is Very expensive. this venture? It's, it's, it's <laughs> an uninformed decision. Because you, you can't make a budget. You don't have a budget. Can't I start saving for my future child or children? Well, you do. You are not sure how much is too much to save mm. or not save. You know, mm. it's 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 a responsibility that I would say parenting is a day at a time. You know, it comes. You have something in your bank account. You are working. Your mm. partner is working. Mm. But then there comes the time where. You can go out of job, like mm. you can lose your job, mm. and if you are if you don't have kids, you are alone. You can, can manage, manage somehow, you know. Yeah. But this responsibility doesn't know when mommy doesn't have money. Yeah. He doesn't know when daddy has lost his job. He doesn't. They, it's it's just there in your face. Mm. You have to get the work done, and you can't fail. You have to get the job done and you can't feel which means you need to be psychologically prepared that <laughs> these children don't go anywhere. When you give birth to them, they stay in your house and there are people who are 30 and above and still living with their kids. So if you want to have a child, you need to be psychologically prepared that this person is my responsibility. They are here to stay. Now you are you have a job, eight to five, you have a business and you have two kids. Some people will say you are a super human, like you are a super mommy, like you oh have God. it together. I mean, I want you to answer these questions for like ladies. Is it possible to have it all or there is something that will suffer in this, in this scenario? Um, I would say it's possible to have it all mm -hmm. if you have a good support system. How, so tell me, so support system, in terms of family in terms of family external family so it, it takes a village it takes a to family. have it all yeah so what's your support system look like my support system has been my family my from my husband's side mm -hmm. my husband's my mother-in-law okay my um, brother-in-laws mm -hmm. and then my my own mom and then my sisters mm -hmm. um, they've been a great support because um, I had to travel to France to go and study I went away for six years when I was going, my son was um, about seven months. I said I wasn't going, 
my mother-in-law was like you you need to go it's it's not for you mm -hmm. it's for the kids because then when you attain a world-class education mm -hmm. you'd want the same for your kids yeah, you see the value in it mm -hmm. and so she was like no go i'll take care of him and mm -hmm. she's done it so many times i've yeah. seen it mm -hmm. so i was confident she could do it mm -hmm. and so my son was about seven months mm -hmm. i i feel bad when i say that <laughs> i know there are people who are giving you like googly eyes like you, you left know, your seven yeah, months yeah, out you know, <laughs> and um and but now looking back mm -hmm. i wouldn't have done it any, any different yeah. Yeah. yeah did you did you did people come at you for that like did you get people looking like you can't believe that she actually left her seven months yeah 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 <laughs> i, I think got, that's a constant i mm -hmm. got a lot of backlashes even mm -hmm. in france yeah um the whites when you tell them you're a mom well some some admired my courage mm -hmm. to come all the way there to study because they knew it wasn't for me but mm -hmm. for the kids but um they felt pity most mm -hmm. of the time when i speak with the whites i feel pity like i'm i'm sad you have to go through this mm -hmm. for your children but um when i speak with my fellow blacks mm -hmm. it's um <laughs> you got to do what yeah, you have to do like ah you're a bad mom well, what uh -huh. you be doing here Someone actually told me once that mm. I would rather be eating sand wow. with my kids by my side. That. And that, 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 that got to you sleepless nights. Night. I was like, is she right? <laughs> did I make a bad decision? You know, did I make a bad decision? Would, what, I, it, it was really hard on me. Mm -hmm. But um, I think I was, you need to be strong-minded to mm. be a mother. Yeah. To be a mother because then nothing if, to, if everything is getting to you mm -hmm. how do you process all this and then still be sane to enough kids, to you be, know be, mm. be be strong enough to take care of these kids mm. and so I, at a point i realized that no enough of what has been said it's yeah. about my family mm -hmm. and then what would work for us yeah. and if it works for my husband my yeah. kids are okay with so me. i think that another major support system in this it's men. it's men the kind of partner that mm -hmm. you have is key mm -hmm. in helping you so if you want to have a child whether you want to do it by yourself or with a partner having a support system is key because it takes a village to raise a child mm -hmm. who is going to help you to take care of this child and don't forget that you still need to have your own life mm -hmm. like there are people who give birth and just put their life on hold and mm -hmm. what they do is that when their child doesn't start being what they expect it to be, then there's that resentment mm -hmm. towards the child that you came into my life and then you ruined everything. So you need to be psychologically prepared, have a support system in place. For me, that's where physical preparedness <laughs> comes <laughs> in. Right? I, find like, that, I find that funny because of how do you know this person or would have, wouldn't um, switch? Or this person would your, your partner exactly. would. Yeah. But you see, then so you can always bank on a person or people that's why you see you can't have your child and expect that we should take care of your yeah. child oh, yeah, so you must be self-sufficient mm -hmm. first so if you don't have a support system you can hire a nanny can you afford a nanny mm -hmm. But you can't just be having a child because your ovaries are dancing. <laughs> and they are like, <laughs> you see cute babies on Instagram and they pose them in a basket. That's the thing. Because what, why I'm loving this conversation is that you are presenting the realities. Mm -hmm. So another question I'm going to ask you is, did you ever lose an opportunity because you had a child or because of your family situation? Think about it because I know you have a story. Let me come to quick. <laughs> now you don't want to have kids. No. So is this... A conversation that when you meet someone you tell them at once that I may like you you may like me but let me just put it out there I don't want no kids or this is something that you okay. you, you drop so, like has that ever affected a situation that you found yourself in okay so um, my current relationship mm -hmm. um, I kept telling my girlfriend that I don't want kids mm -hmm. I was joking <laughs> so, um, quite recently we're just together we're having a conversation no, we are not having a conversation. I, I, told her, I do realize that I've been telling you that I don't want kids. And she got that because I know she wants kids. Like, she's actually hinted it. So she was like, what do you mean? I was like, I've been telling you this. Like, I don't remember. I thought you were joking. <laughs> like, no, I'm not joking. I'm serious. I don't want kids. Then um, she asked me why mm -hmm. I don't want kids. And I explained my position. I state my reasons. Mm -hmm. Then um, I asked her, why do you want kids? Then she said, okay, she doesn't know, she will not give me an answer, answers later. So I speak to a friend of mine, I was mm -hmm. like, well, it's actually up to me to be able to make a solid case for why I don't want kids than her because um, 
on the average, normally people have the biological edge to need to like just continue their the species. So it's actually sometimes they don't even know why they want the kids. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's just something like unique. it's like a rite of passage. Exactly, exactly. So um, I, I've actually moved out of the um, convention the norms, so mm -hmm. I should be able to actually make a solid case, case for myself. For that. And um, one thing I know is that every decision that you make, you have regrets because mm -hmm. there's something that you sacrifice. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so I've come to terms with that reality, mm -hmm. and um, so and I've actually spoken to people. You talk to people. Why do you want kids? They go like, oh, um, you know, when you are old, and um, there will be someone to take care of you. So one time, I actually just did a, a, a poll system. Ask people. Uh -huh. So um, how many of you would actually want to quit your job or put it on hold and go take care of your you your right. parents? They're like, oh, now nah, I'll just hire someone. But yeah. I was like. But okay. I thought you want to have kids because you want someone to take, take care, care of, of you. you. And there have been many instances where people even um, pass and they are not even surrounded by their kids. Mm -hmm. um, you can't really predict what your kids will become. So I'll tell them, oh, quick, cool, cool. you seem like a smart guy. Why don't you just um, have a kid? He could actually be, um, you know, the next big thing. I'm like, well, it could equally be the next big class. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, you can't predict this. You can and, you know, they go like, okay, so, um, you know, you could actually um, have, you know, you know a genetic um, predisposition. Your kids could be geniuses. And, um, you know, the funny thing is that you look back and people who have made strides in history, mm -hmm. from the Beethoven, Mozart, Thames, mm -hmm. and their kids haven't even surpassed them. So yeah. what a guarantee that, that your kids will do better. Yeah, it's possible. You can't rule out the possibility. But and how many kids do you actually have to have to actually get one genius? Your kids could be idiots. Like, you know, like, you know there's no guarantee. Like, it's so, it's so bad that you can't even tell. It's why some people, um, you know, are not able to achieve much because they mm. know that they are sacrificing everything for their kids. Yeah. Then, okay, go to school, become a doctor for daddy because daddy couldn't become a doctor. Then, yeah. Right? There are people no, who are living vicariously to through. I want to be a SoundCloud artist. <laughs> 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 I want to be an Instagram influencer. I want to be a slay queen. I want to be a TikToker. And then you are looking like I put you through no, school exactly. for you to become a TikToker. Then they quit in their fifth year saying that, oh, I want to be a photographer. You're mad. <laughs> <laughs> So, so even this can even kill you. <laughs> all this investment I've made on food. I know. So who asked me so what I was like, okay, well I could equally invest my money so that when I get old I'll take care of myself. And when I feel that I have um, too much money, I'll find a nephew or a niece and I'll spoil him or her. Exactly. And I'll just give you give to my when I'm when it's You time. know, the one <laughs> thing I always wanna say I was talking about is like the opportunity cost. Yeah. You know. The opportunity cost. So let's. I asked you that question. What opportunity have you lost? Because when we were this, we was having this discussion, and we had that. <laughs> the way you looked at me, like. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no, it's, uh, no, I understand. <laughs> Why? What is making the two of you laugh? <laughs> no, he gave no. me a look like. No, I didn't give a look like you were asking a question, so I just tend to look at. I'm but he had a look. He, oh, had really? was, he was giving you he that. Was waiting for. for like, let me see what she's yeah. gonna say. Right, you know that we were having this discussion. It was like there was someone who said the only time she actually failed at something academic was the time that she was pregnant. <laughs> like, if she wasn't pregnant, you know, like, apart from the fact that you physically have a belly, you have to sit down. You have to sit down and steady. Like, you mm -hmm. sitting down and steady, not pregnant, cry, it's something else. Then there's a child in your womb that is kicking, that is turning. And then, so, based off on all that was going on in her body, that's the only time she failed anything. Have you ever lost an opportunity to do something, go somewhere, be something that you think that being a parent like stepped in the way or held you back some way somehow? Um, yes, I, would, I wouldn't lie about that. Mm -hmm. um, once you become a mother, you need it's it's all it's all about sacrifice. Yeah, you need to um, weigh your options, and um, there are places you would really want to go, mm -hmm. but um, in your face you would be told um, the opportunity. You are fit for the opportunity, but, but you are married and you have kids. So kids, you know, and so um, yes, there. Are, but I see every every missed opportunity as a stepping stone to um, doing something greater. So I, I apply for a job. Mm -hmm. You turn me down because I'm a mom. I would look at going into entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. um, yes, I've, I've which always, is not easy either. Which is like easy. don't just think that oh I can't get a job so I'm going to start a business. <laughs> Let me tell you, it's not beans. 
which is not which is not easy mm -hmm. which is not easy so um my i think the my i wouldn't say my biggest challenge mm -hmm. but um the most recent one mm -hmm. is um having to Settle, we settled in Ghana. Mm -hmm. I I came to Ghana for holidays mm -hmm. um, last year, mm -hmm. somewhere around last year, and um, I decided I'm not going back to France. Why? And uh, like <laughs> glass and qua, everything <laughs> works. Why would you know why to go back? My family, my family thought I was going crazy. They said no, 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 because I was saying during COVID, mm -hmm. I realized I, I truly, I, I realized that my family was everything. Was everything because and you were stuck alone. Yeah, I was there. stuck alone, and then I, so I thought to myself, if there is anything mm -hmm. that can prevent me from seeing my children. I wouldn't want to have anything to do with that thing. Ah. So if COVID could prevent me, borders would prevent me from seeing my kids. Borders can prevent borders can prevent me from seeing my husband, my dear husband. Yeah. Then Which we know I you love <laughs> very, very <laughs> much. What, 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 isn't it about all you being selfish? Because then if you hadn't if it had, was had loneliness no, you have, it wasn't. Have no, it's it's not out of loneliness. Mm. Okay. It's, it's you see how husband like children are out here superseding husbands like these days <laughs> you can actually even yeah. have a child and i feel so bad for men like mm -hmm. even though i'm usually pro women like in this situation i sympathize with men like we are even now circumventing them <laughs> and having kids so like i can get to a point where i go like you know i can take care of a child i have a support system i'm okay up here i can raise a child mm -hmm. but i don't want a husband mm -hmm. so i'm gonna just get it done some way you can google how to get it done on the internet i'm not going to tell you that but yeah <laughs> So well, um, it's uh, that's so. I had to come back home. I and came back stay. home and I decided to stay. Okay. I decided to find ways to make it work back home mm. because I realized I've taken a decision to have kids. I should take care of them. Mm -hmm. I should be in their lives. I realized they were growing older, mm. and, and you were missing out. I was missing out. out. You know, their dad. Their dad is he's has been there all throughout mm -hmm. and then i saw the bond they had with their yeah. dad yeah. and i realized that no you need to i find needed to it, we needed to be it, it, we needed the complete set and so that is one thing i would say um was wild because people you were like really mm. it's not like you were being sacked from there you know i yeah, had yeah. i i had after five years i had a complete set and you know i had a business i was working and all that i have my friends mm -hmm. so uh, people were like why don't you then bring your kids and your husband mm -hmm. rather than moving back yeah. home and it, it was i wanted it now i was tired mm -hmm. you know the solitude the the the, uh, the that fracture like mm -hmm. it, it, it was it wasn't broken but it was kind of broken yeah. you know yeah. I, I i wasn't getting that completeness yes. i wanted and and so and that brings us back to um, the decision to actually get married and have kids. Mm. Some people do not want to have kids because they love solitude. They love like they love yeah. being alone. They Good. love thinking about themselves and all that. Yeah. But there are others who love the family setting. I love the family, family setting. setting. So that's I, why you you stuck with that. So now, like she said, there are some people who their life is some way you know strict OCD. Don't touch my shoe. Don't touch my this. Don't touch my that. We're going to get into those people and if there's hope, if they will ever have kids Objection. or how they should prepare. <laughs> Objection. Yes, we have one in the house. So we're going to go for a quick commercial break. When we come back, we will deal with those people. We'll be right back. Mama.
Welcome back to Honey I See. My name is Noeli Aram Abla Yowisi, and today we're talking about children, to have or not to have them, and what you should think about. Should I say we are giving you like checklists, you see, financially, psychologically, emotionally, physically, how you need to be prepared to have a child and if there are some things missing in your checklist you need to go back to the drawing if you already have kids we have a super mummy in the house <laughs> who is going to tell us how you can balance these things so Catherine, before we went on the break you have told us like how you've been handling this and how support system is key now if someone is with a partner that is in a certain way like if you have a certain partner like if you are dating someone who has ocd people want their things cleaned they don't want noise <laughs> they want if they put something here they want it to come they when they come back they should be there can they realistically if they have children will their life still be the same or their life will be dead upside down by having a child i'm just even me it's funny to me like if you like how different would their would the life of someone like that be if they're watching the show and they they have all these traits i've mentioned mm -hmm. and they still want a child should they prepare themselves that their life will never be the same again or or what it, their lives will never be the same again <laughs> it's the french would, would say it's a catastrophe uh, it's it's a catastrophe <laughs> scatter because everywhere scatter. It's, you, you can never find a solution mm. you can't tell kids how to act mm. you can't tell kids not to you know um put their toys here they mm. are they are kids. kids you know kids will be kids Kids will always be kids and so mm -hmm. you you should get ready you should you should start psyching yourself. You know, you should even start scattering your, your <laughs> room. Your couch would be... I remember going to visit my big brother once, mm. and then he's packed all his couch at one corner, yeah. covered it all, and guess what? What? The boys climbs and jumps from top, on top of the couch. Wow. So whichever way you try to mold it <laughs> or to find a solution, they would always find a way to tear it down or do whatever. So it's... it's, it's I think... Um, you just have to figure it out, you know. As and when one you day at a time. time. Day now, at a time. what is your opinion of people like Kweku? No, before she actually <laughs> let us <just, let laughs> clarify this. Yeah, there's this misconception that mm -hmm. people who do not want kids don't like kids. That two different things. So I like kids. Kids are fun when I like when I want them to be around. <laughs> so you only come to my space when I want you to. I have, I have this neighbor who um. I babysitted her first son, mm -hmm. the second son around. One time he did something, I said, hey, you. and now he's terrified, so he doesn't want to come speak. <laughs> Never so again. So when he's doing something, they tell him that, oh, um, Kiba, then he runs away. So he you are the, a police, police virtual. I'm not police, he was doing something, <laughs> and, I, and I just, hey, stop. So yeah, I, I, like, I used to babysit the kid, he could mm -hmm. stay with me from morning, I make sure, um, if it's time for him to feed, he goes to his mom after he's done, then he comes back. Sometimes, I'm, I'm a photographer, mm -hmm. I'm editing photos, and I can't, like, he'll be touching stuff, so I just put him on my neck, so he's on my <laughs> neck, and I'm editing. <laughs> yeah, so, um, I want a convenience where I can take you back ah. to your mother, and so <laughs> I, you only come to me, okay, Oh, is it a good time to bring him around? Yes, it's a good time. Oh no, today's not a good time. Mm. Yes. You I want I want <laughs> I don't want anybody he, touching my stuff. He he wants to eat his cake and have, have it. it. No. Well that's why he doesn't want the cake at all. Okay, I don't want I don't want to eat the cake. <laughs> he doesn't want no. people to tell him that he's not being a good dad. And you know, another thing that we don't talk about a lot is when people have kids, ninety percent of the time it is the job of the woman. Mm to it's like go to your mother mm. yeah. we all came from that era you when you're doing something they say go to your mother oh, but I'll be a, I'll, if i should have kids i'll be an amazing dad my mom complains yeah. that i'll spoil my kids mm. if i should have kids they will just get the opportunity to do all because um my i know that there's actually people who have that parenting style of let the kids do what they want to do want. so far as they don't hurt them so there are people yeah. who they are, i've watched a documentary where there's a woman in a building and her child is in an apartment across mm. the hall <laughs> People complain, it's like, that's how, like, she's another. So the child also has a two-bedroom in the building, mm -hmm. and she also has her space. She, that's the kind of parent she, she, 
in the space of like you said at the beginning, I said what you love about having a child or kids is I want to do things differently mm -hmm. than my parents did. So what are your opinion of? So no, he's but, clarified. But, but Catherine, why did you want kids? Because I wanted kids. Because I love the family setting. Mm -hmm. Because I. It's it's to me it's it's just perfect. So you see that then brings us to the the. But you don't digress. First things, what do you think of people like him? Like when you meet someone like him that says, I don't want to have kids. When I meet people who say <laughs> they don't want to have kids, uh -huh. it's, it doesn't make sense. Why doesn't it make sense? Because from, from all indications, from all standards, kids, biblically kids are blessings. Uh -huh. They are rewards. Okay. okay, so you don't, you marry, mm -hmm. you have a partner. Mm -hmm. After five years, four years, and well, let me clarify this one. Clinically, or um, there are people who would have issues uh, at the mm -hmm. point and not have kids. Mm -hmm. That's different. But they want to have kids. Well, okay. You know. So you have you've married. Then what's that? We don't want to have twenty, thirty. <laughs> no. But kids are blessing. Ah, <laughs> blessing. <laughs> yes, but you have to know. Have, have, have no, populate no, the yes. They should have blessings. Have blessings. That wait that. For that one, we'll, we'll, we'll touch slightly on you that phrase. To cater, cater for them <laughs> well, <laughs> and so you, you check your pocket, you know, what you can have your <laughs> have the kids according okay, so to your I'm bank account. And I said, Okay, kids are expensive. Mm -hmm. When I see kids, I don't see cuteness, I see bills. Yeah, to have them. which in reality, they are like bills so upon in reality, bills. In reality, they are, but they are blessing. Where's the blessing? Where's the blessing? Why don't you have more so that you have more blessings? No, you, 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 you have the choice uh, to choose the number of kids you want to have. Okay. That's a nice choice. You have the choice to have the number of kids you want to have. Mm. Okay. okay, so if your parents didn't have you, then they didn't I have me. I wouldn't know. I'll <laughs> and and I, I feel we owe it to nature. So okay, wait, so, 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 what? so to, back to, to the biological imperative that I said. Mm -hmm. But then again, if you don't have kids, someone will have kids. There's some, okay, someone, if that's someone, someone has, doesn't want to have kids, is it? If that's someone they will that, all not be here. Yeah. So how do you want to have kids? They'll make it up for you. They'll make it up for you. <laughs> no. <laughs> you put that, why, do you, why, why are you allocating that responsibility to someone else and not you? Why if you don't do it, someone will do it. Let me go, go to her. What if that's someone that's not What if I don't want to have kids? What if I don't want to have kids? What if I don't want to have kids? What if Ariam doesn't want to have kids? You don't want to have kids. How do we continue? There are so many no, people no, in the world no, already. Yeah, Why are we well, being yeah, added to the numbers? There are people in the world already, and there are people who, like, the biological imperative is hitting them hard. Like, they see cute, oh, my ovaries. Like, yes, yeah, those yeah. have kids. So, those should have their kids. But don't forget that you cannot just your ovaries you see for me one of the things that is really dragging people which is why we're having this conversation about the the realities of having a kid mm -hmm. like you said you will not sleep you're constantly worried and these kids cost you money you will not sleep when they no, are no. babies not when they are even when they are you know, even you know, when they are, you know, when they are sick you know, the funny yeah. thing is that uh -huh. um, people realize oh kids are like troublesome like but then well, what i've realized is that the best part mm -hmm. is from when they are born to say age 12 after that they are gone like, they are like teenage is a whole because thing there's a time where you actually really want to have time for them born with them you may not even have that yeah and after they are 20 that's it I mean, yeah, I talk to my mom yeah. as and when, like, so, she can send me a message and I'm like, mm, that's what okay, I'll like. deal with it later. Mom, I'll deal with it. You have, you have to rebuild your relationship with them. Mm -hmm. We're here, my dad called. We're having a conversation. I told us, I'm busy. Let me just finish this. I'll call you back. I might even forget and call him a week time. Mm -hmm. Like, you see, so mm -hmm. there's a time that he actually wants me, like, want to have a conversation with yeah. him. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, he called me. I was asleep. I called him back. I couldn't reach him. And he called today. I was like, he called. I was like, yeah, it happens. So you, you like maybe you might actually want to you know um, um, you know reinforce your whole emotion that okay I have some sort of solace and I can actually if even things don't go I have my kids mm. no you, <laughs> there's no kids. guarantee that you kids, have kids are not assets yeah neither yes. are they like exactly so you can't say this is something I'm investing to and okay some people think that way yeah exactly. but like, that is where the disappointment comes mm, in yeah you know should our should your and kids you know, be like a retirement plan situation what do we, like people who have that mindset that i mean i wrote something on it recently you know mm -hmm. um, um you know there's this um, popular thing going around flying around social media where people go like oh, african parents are entitled kids shouldn't be a retirement package like mm -hmm. you don't have to rely on your kids for but what we feel to realize is that we compared to the west mm -hmm. and the west most often 
right after high school, people f the kids fend for themselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, some, some will kick some, their some kids out of the house. Some leave the house at eighteen, mm -hmm. get a job. But here, people, um, the, your parents, um, you know, pay your tuition. Mm -hmm. They like, clothe you, they feed you, mm -hmm. um, they put you uh, like. Even some people live with their parents way into their thirties. I live in my parents' house. I'm not leaving. <laughs> so you have to come and remove me from the house. If you have a problem, it's also going to be a problem. They should also go back to kids. He is in his parents' house and says he doesn't want to leave. And unless his parents, if they don't understand, they should go to <laughs> their parents' house. <laughs> so, you know, um, with something like this, um, someone like me, um, I'm, I'm like, I have the obligation to um, look. To, like to the well-being of my parents mm -hmm. in their old age, if they are not able to, mm -hmm. because um, they could have actually decided to, um, you know, have me anyway. When I get to eighteen, okay, now you are legally old enough, go fend for yourself and mm -hmm. just invest in their retirement, just put uh, the money in some investment somewhere. But mm -hmm. they choose to actually just, um, you know, pay your tuition, take care of you, mm -hmm. make sure you are good. In some cases, yeah, some people even they are in school and their parents buy them their first car. Mm -hmm. In the West, most often you hardly even get such gifts from your parents because hey, they also want to go on vacations. Mm -hmm. That yeah. money is their money, so you are not entitled to it. Mm -hmm. So we tend to forget that we make like we we just go with some faulty narratives mm -hmm. and um, because we are trying to sound all woke. So <laughs> hey, they are not your parents' retirement um, benefit. Shut up. And even though it's 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 not written down, it's right? Not written but then again, yeah, it's not exactly. Like you know, and the yes, thing is that another thing to we fail to realize that in African societies we are uh, we are communal, mm -hmm. and even some there are some aunties that will call you like you'd be surprised. Yeah. For you know that auntie was who actually raised your dad, mm -hmm. paid his tuition. Like you know, mm -hmm. so sometimes it goes it goes it goes, it keeps, yeah. it keeps going back. Yeah. So they also feel that you sort of like owe them something. Yeah. Even though you don't, but it's just curtsy. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I do believe that people actually, yeah, it's not compulsory to actually, you know, extend a helping hand to mm -hmm. your your parents. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it's it's just it's just a nice thing. To yeah. do. So as we we wrap up quick, I want to ask you, what is your opinion of this societal? Low key, I don't even know the pressure, but because me, anybody who knows me knows that. For lack of a better way, I don't care what the society thinks about me, okay? I may be in the society, but I am not a part of the society if I'm being right. Like, society putting pressure on young adults. It's like someone says somewhere and say, you, become an, we give birth to you, become an adult to go to school. After school, get married. Get married, have ch a child. One child is not enough. Why one child is not enough? That should be a whole show on its own. Then, kids. This pressure that society is giving us, which makes people look at some, someone like you, like you, no one wants to have skills. It shouldn't be an issue. Like in other places, it's, it should just be yeah, fine. But people look at you like, what do you think of it, right? I think um, you know, um, you know, society as a whole has this. Um, um, it, society has this, um, you know, directive to um, for continuity. Society mm -hmm. has to progress. Society has to continue, mm -hmm. and society can't continue without the numbers. Yeah. So um, yeah, have kids. Um, you know, um, when are you expecting your third child? Third. Like, even if you have your fifth, someone somewhere to say, who will still ask you. Oh, you don't have a girl. When, uh, you don't have <laughs> so why don't you just try and have a like? You know, um, I just think it's it's just. Even though they won't support you when you make it <laughs> society, you know, society will not give you a you know, dime. Society actually loves uh, unborn kids. <laughs> I know. Society born, loves unborn kids. When a kid is born, yeah, first day, hey, oh, he's cute, blah, blah, blah. Now, the answer, the child not becomes yours. So if you want to make a decision because you think society is... Yeah. You're on your own. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, on, you're very much on your own. Society so, will not give you one CD for your child. So at the end of the day, mm -hmm. um, as much as well, maybe you might consider, um, you know, um, society's opinion. Mm -hmm. You should come to terms with the fact that um, every decision that you take, you will be your sole responsibility. Mm -hmm. You might get help somewhere, but you're not entitled to that help. Mm -hmm. So um, it's just um, maybe someone's benevolent mm -hmm. and um, they actually want to just contribute slightly to um, mm -hmm. your, your your kid's arm bringing. Mm -hmm. Someone you can even offer to, like the way I offer to babysit someone's kid. Was like, <laughs> yeah, it's the same thing. I'm not obliged to babysit the kids for it. Uh, so, just, yeah. yeah, in the words of Kweku, mm -hmm. he can babysit the kids when it's convenient for him he <laughs> loves the fact that he can take them back so if you are like <laughs> and you want convenience 
we want to let you know that you need to watch this show from the beginning and get the the points you know, to make sure that if, if you if you want convenience child birth there you pause until you can come to a place you where know, you I, cannot I, take I them wish there was one particular friend of mine who mm -hmm. will be on this set once you listen to his argument, you mm -hmm. go like, ah, but okay, I'm not surprised that Kuku is friends with this guy because <laughs> this guy doesn't want it. Meanwhile, this guy has two kids. <laughs> so, one time, like, on um, 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 Facebook, we're interacting and mm -hmm. he goes like, Charlie, don't have kids, so <laughs> like, this is the first thing I was like, relax, this guy has two kids. <laughs> and you asked him, Charlie, so, uh, what's up, like, is it fun to have because like, Charlie, it's fun and at the same time it's not fun. Mm -hmm. Like you can't even understand. So yeah, that's how it is. One day you love your kids and what? the next day they bring their. You don't their even want to see them. <laughs> <laughs> like so, um, like I said, everything, mm -hmm. um, everything, every decision you make, mm -hmm. you sacrifice something for another thing. Yeah. So just be prepared. Make sure that what you are actually sacrificing, it's something to sacrifice it for. It's something that you really want mm -hmm. because no matter what you do, every decision you make, like you have regrets. Yeah. yeah. Catherine. Huh? Final words. You are pro. Let's have kids. The family unit has family to continue. Gang, 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 gang. But I want to have twenty kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I could, if I could, What's if I could afford. You? Biologically, you can. Yeah, bi biologically, I can. Okay, cool. if, if I can afford <laughs> taking care of them, I, I will. So, I mean, there's no <laughs> there's no spiritual <laughs> heavenly bank account that I don't know the location that you will go and say that I'm going to withdraw money for these blessings that you have given me. When you have a child, it's your responsibility as a human to take care of them. Catherine, final words. Final words, okay. Mm. For someone, for a mother like me mm -hmm. who has been with a family, and then had the opportunity to go live alone mm -hmm. and then yeah i i still stand by my words that mm -hmm. having kids is the best thing ever mm -hmm. i i would say you could have it all together you could be a mother you can be a mother mm -hmm. you can be a wife you can have your corporate life running mm -hmm. if you have a good support system. system and that's a husband that is there mm -hmm. that is ready to help and then a family Probably. that would help Thank you so much to Catherine and to Kweku for coming on the show. To my crew, thank you so much. Thank so, you for doing the watching. It's possible that um, you have kids and you could be the next Hitler. <laughs> so he <laughs> interrupted <laughs> my wrapping <laughs> up <laughs> of my show <laughs> to, to really trace his points. <laughs> that if you have a child that you are <laughs> banking on that he will be <laughs> come you, the next you president. Want a cure for cancer? No, he could be the next Hitler. You never know. So whilst you are doing that, manage your expectations of your kids. My name is Noeli Arab Ablaoshi. This has been Honey Ice Tea. We'll see you same time next week. It's bye for now. All right.